Welcome into Football Friday Night Week 3. I'm Brendan Robertson with Colin Cody. 30 minutes of highlights coming your way. That's right, Brendan. That includes our Game Night Live and Game of the Week and our top plays of the night. All right, let's jump right in. For the third week in a row, North Augusta taking on a team from Georgia after a loss to Thompson, then a win over Evans. The Yellow Jackets on the road at Grovetown. Grovetown beat Midland Valley a week ago at home. Shout out to the Grovetown band. North Augusta brought a big crowd in their giant inflatable helmet. After three and outs for both teams, Grovetown on the second drive. Latrell Walker running hard for the first down, making a couple guys miss, keeps the drive going for the Warriors. That drive leads to this. Brian Mendoza, 30 yards out, and it's good. Try to show the, the kickers some love. <laughs> so it's 3 nothing Warriors, and the fans were loving it. North Augusta's next drive, Austin Harrell picked off by Jose Taylor at Grovetown. Looked like they were in business, so trying to make – Something out of that. But the very next play, Corey Bryant, Isaiah Germain, stripped by Donovan Brown, recovered by Juan Garcia. We're going back the other way. North Augusta goes to work. Harrell hands it to Jakari Buxton. He's hitting the left side, going around for a first down. But penalties pushed the Yellow Jackets back. So first play of the second quarter, Jordan Wilburn. The kick goes wide right. North Augusta was down 10-0. They came back tied at 10-10 in the third quarter, and they went on a missed extra point from Grovetown, 17-16. to How about ARC coming off their first win of the year? 3-0 over Westside. Evans had a big week one win over Effingham County. Lost to North Augusta last week. End of the first half, Evans driving. Leighton Lackey over the middle. Ja'Cory Gaines gets some. Makes the INT <clears throat> and the Musketeers. Trying to make something of it. Trying to... Eat the clock to end the half. Maurice Freeman hands it to Isaiah Dorsey. Picks up a big first down, lets us know, and that's how we would go to halftime. But Colin, Lemuel Lackey must have had a heck of a halftime speech. Say Thanks to my buddy Brian Kilps <laughs> for this video. Caleb Jackson, they got Leighton Lackey out at receiver. That's a first down inside the red zone. We're in the third quarter, in case you didn't know. Then Jackson to Donovan Barnshaw. From 12 yards out, the Knights' first score of the game makes it 10-6. Uh, then, fourth quarter. Jafran Star Graham from 18 yards out. Puts Ooh. Evans in front. The truck stick. How about the Knights getting it done in the second half? They win 20 to 10. Now, Brendan, full of Thompson Bulldogs. They had two weeks off since their opening in the break yard over North Augusta, and they're back out there today. Last season, Bulldogs defeated the Eagles of Eagles Town. I don't, Eagles Landing. Eagles Landing. Road. They beat them 54 to 18. Thompson dominant from the very start in this one. Tay Martin. Passing out right to Kendarius Green, and he works his way into the end zone. Now the Bulldogs lead 7-0 first quarter. Thompson is going to have the sack belt on the sideline. That's what they give to their defensive standouts. And watch this. Cosmos Kendricks with the sack and the fumble recovery, and they're in their own red zone. Very next play, Martin this time hands the ball off to Green. And Green sees nothing but Green. He scores his second of the game. Thompson, perfect. All of their first quarter, three for three, going for four for four. Martin goes deep to Levasco. Winfrey, back in the end zone, and the score is now 21 zip. Martin would score another TD with his legs in the first quarter. First quarter? First quarter. Top, but watch this. Bulldogs ahead. Martin goes, and he's in. 28 nothing. Thompson with a big win tonight, 35. Goose egg. Now, moving on to Harlem Bulldogs. They're still looking for their first win of the season after a heartbreaking loss to Aquinas. Week 2, hosting Washington Wilkes. Tigers lead 13-6 after the first half. Pick right back up. Donovan Anthony finds Cobb. He gets a nice block and hits the sideline. He goes all the way down the sideline. He says nothing but opportunity in front of him. And that is going to be another touchdown for the Tigers. Now, right here. Newsom, he fumbles and hands off, and the Tigers recover. This time, Anthony got a fake, and he rolls out. He's going to do it himself. He's going to roll out, score, cha-ching. Another but green, six. Now, the game isn't over. Terry is Grimes with an easy one right up the gut for a one-yard score. And Harlem still having some hope. Harlem with onside kick recovered, but failed to get in the end zone, and they would fall. Again, 26 to 14 will be the final. I call last week fifth ranked Aquinas. You mentioned it beat Harlem 16 13, 38 right. yard field goal from freshman Colson Brown in the final minute of the game. So the Irish are down 13 nothing of 
halftime at that game. Uh, not the way it went tonight. James Leonard's crew was out in front 27-0 in the third quarter. First drive of the second half. James Schlegel, little RPO, goes with the R. Picks up the first down then. Going to hit Joseph Welsh on third down oh. over the middle and a little yak. No Some hook. Yards after the catch right here. Aquinas converted a bunch on this opening drive. Right here, they're going to hand it to Darius Stone going up the middle. Picks up another first down. And how about this one? This is for the big guys up front. Uh, it's James Schlegel, but let's give the credit to the offensive line here, uh, dragging him and some of the Wilkinson County defenders for another first down. Sets up the Irish in the red zone, and they're going to go direct snap to Joseph Welsh for the TD. Aquinas rolls tonight 47 6. Another big fight for those guys. Right? Glen Hill is looking for their first win of the year, hosting a 2 0 Cross Creek team. 14 12, Cross Creek up in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, third quarter, Glen Hills with the ball to Davius White to LaMarco Hester, fighting for yards. That's a first down. Then White looking for an open man, but that's picked off by Davion Sims. We're going the other way for Cross <laughs> Creek. Big pile on there. Cross Creek couldn't score, so we go fourth quarter. Glen Hills with the ball in the red zone. White going to hand it off to Devontae Harris. He punches in 18 14, Glen Hills. But here comes Cross Creek. Cameron Gibbons. Looking to Davion Sims. They complete it. Needed to score. Couldn't get it done. Congrats to the Spartans. Glen Hills wins 18 to 14 the final. Let's. All right. Now Butler took a tough one on the chin against Cross Creek. Now this time they're opening a home season opener versus Montgomery County. Montgomery County in possession. Brandon Denmark gets the handoff and hurdles a guy. Denmark gets the first down. Montgomery driving. Bo Davidson drops back to pass. It's complete to Katarius Allen for the first down, and Montgomery is moving. Same drive. Jacoby Russell gets the handoff. Big run for the outside guy. Touchdown. Montgomery County score tied at 6-6. Now, Butler couldn't get anything going, but Montgomery County with the ball in the red zone. Hands off to Tyon Roundtree. Uh -uh. Nothing but Roundtree. Oh, Tough down. I like yeah. that. Yeah, Montgomery. 13-6 Montgomery County. That final score is going to ring in in their favor, 29 to 6 over the Bulldogs. They've got another one. This is a great one. John Starr made his debut at Laney two weeks ago in a lopsided event. But now, here, Jaquiel Alston completes the pass to Nicole Jones. Jones gets the first down, and Josie still with it. Alston pitches to Naquan Jones again. Jones uses the stiff arm and gets the first down. Josie turns over on downs in Hancock Central with the ball. Jalen Hatcher drops back to pass, completes it to Jamal Taylor, and Taylor gets the big first down for the Bulldogs. Same drop. Hancock Central with the ball. Hatcher looking to drop back, and the pass is complete to Carmichael Allen. Touchdown, Hancock Central, and they lead 6-0. Now, Josie with the ball. Jaquiel Olsen pitches to Naquan Jones. This duo doesn't get tired, but they fumble on the play. Hancock recovers right after the re recovery. Hancock. Punches it in and Hancock wins. Nothing. There you go. All right, some other final Who's scores. It? Lakeside 45 21. Nice win for Steve Hibbett's ball club on the road. Greenbrier falls to Cedar Schultz. Glasgow County and Wheeler County were still looking for it at Swainsboro. Look, that's right. Upset from Dublin 35 to 13. Swainsboro was ranked. I got to say, Josie might have the smoothest uniforms I've seen this year. They do look good. I mean. All right. Stick around. We're not even halfway through week three of Football Friday Night. Coming up next, the Palmetto State will take center stage. We are the Thompson Bulldogs cheerleaders. Keep watching Football Friday Night. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of Football Friday Night.